peace and love everybody today we'll be taking a look at the yay soul g1m plus exercise bike and yay soul did sponsor this video so shout out to them for sending this bike through this version's the 21.5 inch lcd screen at 1080p i don't have much experience with these indoor bikes but i can tell you i'm a runner and in colorado it gets really cold at times and it snows so having this bike is a huge benefit and if you never had a bike like this as well I highly recommend it. What's nice is it fits in small spaces, so if you don't have much room, this bike is perfect for that, and I'll touch on that a little later. The G1M Plus is a direct competitor to the Peloton bike, retailing at $499. Pelotons go from anywhere from $1,500 for their basic bike and for their top of the line bike, you're looking at $2,500 with a 23.8 inch screen. An easy comparison shows that you're paying a fraction of Peloton's highest level bike, which is insane. While researching, I noticed there were different versions of the G1M Plus, but I happen to like the particular version that they sent me because of this tray right here that holds tablets and phones. Assembly of the bike can get a little confusing because there is a lot of parts, but they have a YouTube video that I'll link in the description that you can reference showing everything step by step. So I highly recommend you watch the video before and during assembly of the bike. The G1M Plus is 77 pounds, which is half the size of a Peloton. And the max weight seems to be 265 pounds. The bike is made of high quality steel, so it's very stable, it's very sturdy. I'm five foot nine at 160 pounds, so this bike is actually perfect for me. One thing I like about it is it's you can use the bike unplugged, which I'm doing right now, and this knob turned clockwise will intensify the bike's tension, and if you turn it counterclockwise, it'll do the reverse, making it a lot easier to ride the bike. So as of lately, I've been riding the bike at a certain tension and i haven't even been plugging the bike up i just jump on it it's already set to where i want it and i come from the old school days where the bikes weren't this fancy so this is a big plus to have a screen electronics and everything but i do use it a lot unplugged which is an option there is a knob right under the handlebars there and this will let you adjust the height of the handlebars i haven't really had to adjust that too much because too high makes the screen a little out of my comfort zone for the viewing range. The pedals are actually high quality. They're coupled together with nylon straps, which are adjustable and they make a really good fit for any type of sneaker. I don't have any riding sneakers, but what I have now works for me. Now, this knob right under the seat, it lets you adjust the seat forward and back, which is actually very nice. And that knob towards the bottom there, if you twist and pull out, it'll let you adjust the seat higher and lower and you can also swap out the seat which i'll be doing here in a couple days because i found out after like 30 minutes on this bike the stock seat can be a little rough at the highest height setting you're at 40.5 inches and at the lowest setting you're at 30.5 inches i found my sweet spot at adjustment level nine now moving on to the display you have to make sure it's connected through the app it only takes 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi connection i ran into that issue trying to put it on 5 gigahertz so make sure it's on 2.4. Once you jump on and start pedaling, you can see that your stats will go live and you can kind of keep track of things this way without doing any screen mirroring at the moment. I'm gonna start off with a seventh gen iPad for a demonstration and you can use the health app to sync up with the Yeesol app to kind of keep track of all of your exercises. They lay out the steps right there on the device tray and you do have to have a membership through Yeesol to use the screen mirroring function I know that's kind of like, eh, with some people, but what other options do you have? Peloton's memberships for their bikes are $130 to $240 annually, so I chose the $60 for 13-month special for Yesol. They will include a USB-C to USB-C cable along with a USB-C to lightning cable, which is really helpful. I'm starting off with the 7th gen iPad, even though I will be using an iPhone 15 Pro Max, and an Android Galaxy 24 Ultra. I started with YouTube because YouTube is an app that's built into the Pelotons, and it works flawlessly screen mirroring it through the iPad. You power on the screen from the back, but right there in the front, that is the power button for the sound, Bluetooth, and standard. Hello, audio mode. Bluetooth mode. I don't use the Bluetooth mode because my device is always plugged up. But if you're using an iPad or an Apple device, it will show up as a wireless speaker. I did run into an issue while trying to use Netflix through the screen mirroring. I was actually surprised that it didn't work. I got this 165 error message. 
So that made me try Amazon Prime Video. I was like, let's see how this works as well. This one's definitely going to work because it's Amazon, right? I don't know. I got through some of the commercial and then the commercial froze out of nowhere. I was like, wait, what's going on? But the sound was still playing. You can see the tablet below. The sound's still coming through the speakers, but I was like, okay, maybe it was a glitch. And then as you look a little bit closer, it's basically saying that the display is not compatible and it just doesn't meet the standards. Content protects the standards is, is what it says. So I was like, dang. So that just kind of sent me in a spiral. I was like, let me try a random game. Let me see if this game, so this game, Subway Surfers, it works. And I know you probably won't be playing that while riding the bike. So I was like, let me grab the phone. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I got the same air on the phone. So I was like, you know what? Let's switch it up. I went back to YouTube on the phone just to make sure YouTube works. And it does. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And then I was like, you know what? Let's try the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now the S24 Ultra is special because it uses Samsung DeX, which essentially turns your screen into a computer screen, which is beautiful in this case because look, Netflix actually will work. All you have to do is maximize the screen. Here's a commercial and there you have it. It works, sound works, and you use the phone as a touch screen, as like a mouse pad. You can see the mouse cursor moving around on the screen. So Netflix does work through the Samsung phone, through Samsung DeX. I'm not sure about other Android phones, but I can say the Samsung Galaxies for the most part, they do work. So if you're iPhone or iPad only, you might wanna consider getting a cheaper Samsung Galaxy phone just for this. So it is an option, it is possible. And this is me using Amazon Prime Video just to make sure everything works with the Android through Samsung DeX and it does work, which is a huge plus for the Yasol bike. You can also keep track of your progress and also keep track of how many days you have left with the membership from Yasol. Jumping back to the iPad, I was also able to use the PlayStation remote with the PlayStation 5 and I was able to play video games through the tablet, through the screen, which is a huge plus for me. I actually enjoy riding the bike, playing video games. It's a lot healthier being on an exercise bike, playing games, as opposed to just sitting on the couch, not moving at all. This actually surprised me a bit, especially with Netflix and Amazon not working. So this did give me some hope with the Yay Soul bike, knowing I could stream PlayStation games through their display. I didn't confirm this, but I'm pretty sure that this works on Android phones as well, just as long as you have the PlayStation remote app. So let's take a look at Yay Soul's app that you have to use to get everything set up with and let's see what some of their exercise options look like. And they're pretty good. I, again, like I said, I'm old school. I've never had an exercise bike with a screen. So having something like this is pretty nice. There's tons of things you can pick from. Right here is their cinematic, scenic type of ride. You could just kind of let this one roll through. I'm showing how it's duplicated on the tablet. And you do kind of have to turn the tablet vertical when it goes back to the main menu then you go back to landscape mode once you you choose what you want to watch i do wish that the app did stay in a landscape mode permanently while you're using it i ain't gonna lie i did find myself getting a little lost in this scenic ride and it, it did kind of kick my butt a little bit i went through the 30 minute ride and I, that's when i realized that i'm out of shape and from here you can even put airpods in or you could just listen to music around you any way you want to do it but it is nice. See, there it goes, like, going from vertical again. I wish it would just stay in a landscape mode the entire time. But maybe they'll fix that down the line. Who knows? I also thought that using the, one of the instructors wouldn't be that fun or cool. And I was wrong. I actually like using the instructors. They actually taught me a few, um, what do they call it, choreographical steps that actually help, like standing up, holding the handlebars in different positions. You can quit them at any time, and it will reflect on your record. And you can also use male, female, it doesn't matter. They give you a ton of options to choose from, but I actually do enjoy using the instructors. And there's your accumulated stats that you can kind of keep track of to show you where you're at. There's different programs and schedules. They also have yoga, strength, stretch, and cardio. So they do diversify it a little bit for you. If you reach around the back of the monitor where the power button is, the power button actually doubles as screen options. And this will let you dim the screen, make the screen brighter, you could change the tone of the screen. I noticed when I turned the DCR off, it made the screen brighter right away. So I just left that setting off. And to make the changes, the switch is like a toggle button, so you can move it left, right, 
down and up and it kind of took me a second to kind of learn how they work but it is very intuitive i do recommend to play around with it for a little bit to find your preferred adjustments and it will show you that the screen is in 60 hertz the monitor itself it does turn 180 degrees and like i said it is 1080p and from my knowledge, there are no cameras on the screens. When I was researching the Pelotons, some of them do have cameras on them, and that's for the instructors, which is a little creepy. But to my knowledge, there's no cameras on this screen. And I'm actually good with that. And you gotta realize, for this bike being $500, Yesol had to cut a lot of cost. And I think they cut out the right things. It would be nice if they had HDMI and the screen was in 4K, but some of the pros of the bike are very meaningful to me. Like I like that YouTube works both with iPhone and Android. I'll have to get over Netflix and Amazon video not working with my iPhone or iPad, but I can just use my Galaxy phone with Samsung DeX and you're good. While I was researching, I did see that maybe some of the Google Pixel phones might not work as flawlessly as the Galaxy phones, but I'm not sure on that. For me, I'm probably just gonna stick to the iPad and YouTube, but if I really wanna watch a movie, I'll, I'll just pull out the Samsung, it's okay. I also think the memberships are another plus over the Pelotons. I picked the $60 plan, which gave me 12 plus one months. The best deal seems to be the $100 plan, which gives you 27 months. And they seem to always have this same type of deal every single time you fire up the app. And like I mentioned before, I am happy I got this version because there is the bigger device tray right there in the middle, which holds the phones and iPads. And it has about a half inch lip and that'll keep your devices from falling off. In this video I watched, this guy has the bigger screen, but he has an iPad holder, which is slung over the top of the screen, so his iPad doesn't go anywhere because he doesn't have that middle part, which will hold the iPad, and I didn't like that version. Another video I watched, this one does have a middle holder that actually tilts up, but as you can see, it's only big enough for a phone. You could put a tablet on there, but it's less secure. So I do like the version that I have that has the middle tray holder. So shout out to Ye Soul for sending me this version. I guess I got lucky. And nothing's perfect, there are a few cons. It would be nice if it was touchscreen, but right now I'm just stuck with using the tablet, which isn't the end of the world, it's just when I seen Pelotons were touchscreen, I was like, oh, that would be nice. Second thing is the seat. Man, the seat is not the most comfortable seat in the world, and I'm sure that's just how it is on most exercise bikes, but like I said, it's very easy to replace the seat, and I will be replacing it with the seat on Amazon, I'll link that below. I do plan on riding the bike for longer periods, so I do want to experiment with a different seat. And the last thing would be the membership. It is a little confusing because some people I've seen in comments, they're thinking that you just plug your phone or tablet up to this bike and you can screen mirror and just go from there. But you do have to have the app and it's like, well, how is Yesol going to make any money besides selling the bike if they don't charge you for the screen mirroring function, which again, the Pelotons do not offer that. So for me, I would rather have a cheaper bike, cheaper membership, and have the ability to use a tablet, Android, or an iPhone, as opposed to be locked down to Peloton's bike with their apps and pay triple the price for all of that. And you can also download the Peloton app on your mobile device, and you can still use it on this bike. So those are my thoughts on the G1M Plus bike. I do love it. Like I said, I'm typically a runner, but it is nice to have this alternative indoors for the snowy days here in Colorado. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out Yesol. They're great. Peace.